hello everyone and welcome back to my another video and today in this video we are going to talk about difference between asura devtas and human and also difference between the divine powers and mantra tantra okay Okay, but before that uh, before starting our video I would like to remind you that if you had not uh, contributed something on our city Purusa Dharma please do that just uh, do contribution by you know by feeling like y you are paying uh, for our services we right like we are creating this kind of videos and we are doing some kind of movements to spread this knowledge to the world okay for that so that we can create good quality of videos etc right for you guys actually okay so let us start the video so what is the difference between asura devtas and humans okay who are they actually does they exist in this presence present period of time so let us talk about it so if we go, if we read the story of who were the asuras, who were the devtas, right? So we will find, we will find, found that we we found that they uh, they were the brothers, okay? They were st step brothers, okay? Asura and devtas were step brothers. They were not from different different jati, okay? They were from the same family, okay? They were just step brothers. Uh, there there is some uh, rishi. Uh, he has two wives okay I forgot the name of the Rishi you can go and search on the internet who is the father of the Asura and Devtas okay so this Asura has two wives one is Aditi and second is Deity okay so the son of Aditi were known as Devtas and the son of Ad mm, Deities were known as Asura okay they were actually step brothers so with this story what what we understood is that asura and devtas both can be born in the same family okay in a human family also they can be born okay like if we see the lord rama i i'm really sorry uh, if i'm wrong but uh, according to my knowledge Lo lord rama is also born from you know like a human kind of family right so but he become god right i'm really sorry if i'm wrong about this okay but what i feel is like this okay so what i'm trying to say is that both devtas and humans and asura they can born from you know same human family okay now how we recognize that he is devta or he is human or he is asura I, I, firstly we will try to figure out if they have a divine power okay like devic sakti okay because asura and devtas they both have divine power but they, they they take birth along with the divine powers they have some kind of devic sakti from their birth okay so if they have divine power then we can say that whether it is a devtas or whether it is uh, whether it is a devtas or it may be a uh, asura okay but if he does not have any divine power he is just born normally like normal human beings then he is just a human okay but if he is he is uh, he uh, is born with some kind of divine power then now how we are going to recognize then uh, that he is a devta or he is asura okay by observing his characters okay by observing his activities okay uh, so what happened is if he is uh, born with divine power and uh, after birth like uh, when he grow up he started doing like some kind of a uh, uh, evil things like uh, he, he does some kind of evil things okay then we can mm, uh, put in the category of uh, asura okay then we can put him in the category of asura but if he is born uh, with the devic sakti and uh, he is a good person he always think about uh, i cannot lie i cannot do nothing wrong uh, means i only want to do good things 
then we can categorize him in the debtors group okay so these are the difference between debtors uh, asura and humans okay humans are born without devic shakti okay debtors also born with devic shakti but he his heart is good means he is some kind of a good person and asura also born with the devic person devic shakti okay but uh, this Osura's mindset is totally different different from the Devtas. Okay, so in this way we categorize who is Devta, who is Asura, and who is human. Okay, they are they all can uh, be from one family. Okay, from one father and mother, they can give birth these three kind of people: one Asura, one Devta, and one human. Okay. So it's just a kind of a nature of the human characters, okay? Like um, nowadays, we used to categorize people according to their shape and size, according to their uh, colors, etc. Right? Like if we uh, see the uh, American people, uh, sorry, uh, African people, they were black guy, very strong, very tall, okay? And if we see the Chinese people, they would lower height uh, and uh, some kind of a thin body, uh, small eyes, white color, right? So they both bo look different, okay? But uh, they are not different, right? They are the humans only, right? So in this way, Asura and Devdas also little bit different, but they are all kind of humans only, okay? just their behaviors and characters are different like asuras they become out of control uh, because of their desire okay they need desire they have lots of desires okay but debtors are like uh, they are controlled from uh, you know they know how to control their desire okay like uh, in this way we can categorize like uh, those two guys always does bad things you know evil things and we can categorize them in asura group and those guys who are always doing good things only like to good things they are from Devta group okay so in this way we categorize but these two people so, uh, have the divine power okay they are, they are born along with the devic shakti like if i say uh, nowadays also it, it happens okay uh, nowadays also uh, i know that uh, uh, there is one popular popular sadhu no that his name is Nim Karoli Baba, no? okay? You guys might ha heard about his name, okay? So Nim Karoli Baba, he has, you know, some kind of psychic ability, Devik Sakti, we already know that. So, we can categorize him in the Devtas group, okay? We can uh, say that he is a Devta, okay? Because if he does not have any divine power, then we can say that he is a human. But he is a divine power and he does only good things. That means he is a Devta. Okay. But if he is a divine power and he does only bad things, then we can categorize him to Asura. Okay. But he is not Asura, he is Devta and I also believe in him. Uh, I also believe his you know Devik Shakti. Okay, because I myself belongs to Devta's group, okay. I I'm also from Devta's group. That is why I have also born along with some kind of little bit psychic abilities, right? Psychic abilities and devic shakti, okay? So, <coughs> that is what uh, difference between the human asura and devtas. I ho hope you guys uh, have got clear about this, right? So now talk, let us talk about that uh, divine power and mantra tantra, okay? So who, who, uh, who were using that? So for those who are Asura and Devtas, because they already have divine power, okay, they, they don't need any kind of mantra tantra, okay. But for those human beings, okay, who 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 will who don't have any divine power, for them only mantra tantra is uh, for okay. Like uh, because they don't have divine power, this human being have. So what they are doing, they are just uh, praying some mantra means some kind of prayer, right? Just, just they are just praying that oh divine power or oh holy holy power holy people whoever name okay and then uh, just we are praying because i don't have any divine power i cannot do anything 
so please you do something from for me just they are just requesting only this kind of things okay so this is called mantra tantra I means they were just requesting those people who, who with the divine power okay those spirit with the divine power okay so that uh, this spirit with the divine power can do something for them okay they are just requesting that is why in mantra tantra we have lots of rules and regulation we have to offer something right why we are offering because we are requesting them those holy spirit those uh, devtas okay the so that they can do something for us those people those spirit who have divine power we are just requesting them right so there is mantra and tantra okay there is why mantra tantra has rules and regulation the rules and regulation is because he will come and if he does not like something then he will not do it for you right that is why there is rules and regulation so that he comes and uh, he likes you okay like if you go to some per person's home like like and he is uh, welcoming you so much you know he is offering you food she is offering you a uh, good chair to sit then you will feel like oh they were respecting me so much they were giving me so much respect i like them i like them and i will do whatever they say right but uh, if you are like this that uh, i go and you don't welcome me like you have not offered me any food neither you had offered me any chair then how i will feel i will feel bad right i will feel like yeah what kind of person they are i come here from so far away and they are not all welcoming me i will go back right i may not uh, uh, listen to you and i will get angry and go back also right so that is why in mantra tantra there is some kind of rules also some kind of offerings also okay so this mantra tantra is for normal people who don't have any divine power right but those who have divine power like asura or devtas they don't need this okay without mantra also like movies like movies what we see doing like this and things are moving right means uh, they don't need any mantra tantra they will do they just do like this and things will uh, move here and there right so th from I uh, their intuition everything will happen they don't need any kind of mantra or any kind of offering they don't need anything okay that is why mantra tantra is for normal peoples okay but for we we are from devtas group okay we are born with some kind of divine power so we don't need all these things okay mantra tantra we don't need all these things along with our in institution uh, it happens along with our in uh, intuition okay I it is called intuition right M uh, my pronunciation may be wrong intuition uh, intuition uh, maybe yeah we just need to have intuition good amount of intuition good amount of feelings along with our feelings it happens okay but uh, even though we are debtors group from uh, born with the divine power uh, we also have to develop this divine power okay it's not like divine power uh, will just work no will just work without doing anything no we also have to do okay this divine power is inside our body okay we have to grow this divine power okay and for growing this also we have this kind of meditation and this kind of uh, exercise etc is there okay so for that also we need knowledge okay so that's why uh, in this city purusa dharma whatever i was i was doing is for devtas okay it's not for humans okay it's only for those people who already have divine power means whatever i'm doing here in this city purusa dharma whatever i'm showing is all the exercise all the meditation these are only for devtas okay those who already have divine power okay. it's not for normal people uh, who don't have any divine power okay if this pe people who don't have any divine power okay if they try also whatever i'm trying to do here it will not work for them okay it is only for people who already have divine power means it is for devtas only okay but there is um, something uh, different i would like to say is that suppose this person does not have any 
divine power and he want to become devta okay he want to get some divine power then we can give them okay this holy spirit or this uh, spirit with the divine power can give him divine power okay but he will have to do lots of hard work etc mantra tantra whatever he will have to do okay but uh, we are from the devtas group so we don't need all these things because we ourselves is a divine power right so we don't need any other sky to come and teach uh, come and help give me some divine power we don't need to ask anyone okay because we are already born with that divine power right so that is the difference between Deptas, asura and human okay so human always uh, need to have some kind of prayer puja no they will ha they have to do that okay. but divine power those who are born with divine power like Deptas or asura they don't need all these things okay because they already born with divine power like here i am doing in city purasa dharma is for Deptas. It's for uh, Devtas only, okay? So, if you are Devtas, then only whatever I am teaching here about this Siddhipur, uh, about this psychic ability thing, it will work for you, okay? It, it, will, uh, it might not work for normal people, okay, who don't have any psychic abilities. Okay? So, I hope you guys have understood. I Maybe some of you guys have got a little bit confused, alright? But, uh, just remember that mantras and tantra, uh, tantras are only for human beings okay Men, uh, but some sometimes asura also do okay some are for asuras also some are for deptas also okay i will not go in too much deep about that okay because i don't want to uh, go in all about this kind of stuff okay so uh, just i will try to say that uh, because i belong to Devsta, deptas group whatever i am uh, practicing here like siddhis etc these are the way of deptas okay these are not the way of human okay so i am doing different so i don't need any mantra tantra like uh, you see my previous video right i am moving the air i'm not doing any mantra or tantra okay i just need to move my hand it uh, it happens along with my intuition i just need to have good I amount of intuition okay so that is what difference okay so we in Siddhi Purusha Dharma we don't have any mantra tantra okay because you know because uh, we are a groups of debtors right so that is why but there is two groups okay in uh, Siddhi Purusha Dharma one is for human beings and one is for uh, debtors for human beings we have happy and successful life only like if you for for humans we have only you know happy and successful life how to live happy and successful life and mm, you know getting some enlightenment but for debtors we have both this also happy and successful life also enlightenment also and additionally we have siddhi practice also okay for debtors okay so maybe in next video i will create a video about how to know that you are debta or not okay how to know that you have divine power or not uh, I will maybe I maybe create in next video uh, I maybe uh, speak the about this in next video okay okay so that's it for today's video and uh, I would like to remind you again please contribute something to our Siddhivarad Sadharma so that we can spread this information to more people right okay thank